Well, as expected, here's part three. Check it out. This is an AP exclusive, by the way. It says, Google tracks your movements, like it or not. And if you scroll down just underneath the pic here, it says, Google wants to know where you go so badly that it records your movements even when you explicitly tell it not to. An Associated Press investigation found that many Google services on Android devices and iPhones store your location data even if you used a privacy setting that says it will prevent Google from doing so. And if you scroll down just a little more here, where's it at here? Oh, here it is. It says, Google says that will prevent the company from remembering where you've been. Google's support page on the subject states, you can turn off location history at any time. With location history off, the places you go are no longer stored. Well, the article goes on to say that that isn't true. Even with location history paused, some Google apps automatically store time-stamped location data without asking. Well, if you recall, my first video, part one, about tracking Christians was about the CCTV network in China that is already being used in most cities all around the world. My next video of a few days ago was about how the police use a device called the Stingray to track people using their own cell phones. And now, I find that even if you turn off Google's tracking in your cell phone, they still track you regardless. And yes, like the other two videos, the police are the ones implementing all this, regardless of what the Constitution says in Amendment Number 4 about illegal search and seizure. In fact, the article I found this morning stated that the Raleigh, North Carolina police were able to serve a warrant on Google to find devices near a murder scene. And so Google's claim that you can turn it off is something even the police know isn't true. For had it been true, they never would have bothered to do all the work to get and then serve the warrant. And so once again, we see cell phones will be used to help the powers that be to track you down if in fact you refuse to bow to the soon-to-come mark of the Vatican beast, which is in fact Sunday laws. And just so you know, those that don't believe Sunday laws are the mark, the only way these poor souls can make such a claim is to ignore the fact that the Bible says the mark will in fact be a religious law. And I even have thousands of articles and videos posted on my site regarding how governments all over the world right now are pushing for Sunday laws. Worse yet, we even have the Vatican admitting in writing that they invented the Sunday Sabbath without a single line of scripture from Genesis to Revelation exactly as the prophecy said they would. But the clincher here is, the man of sin in Rome has admitted in writing more than once that their invented Sunday Sabbath is, in fact, the mark. And so I have to ask all those that make such claims on my YouTube page regarding this long prophesied reality about Sunday laws, if what I'm saying isn't true, then why are they doing exactly as Christian prophecy said they would do? Thank you for watching. God bless.